Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Valenoy across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and of course get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and of course share it amongst your family and friends. But as you already guessed by today's title and thumbnail, yeah we're going to be doing a graduation makeup. This is the makeup that I wore yesterday to my son's graduation which was Sunday, May 26th. Now... A lot has transpired since I finished doing my makeup yesterday morning at 11.15 a.m. to now it is 8.30 a.m. Memorial Day. When I say one, in the video you'll see I didn't put any primer on my face, but yet my face still held up. It was 99 degrees, heat index had it at 103, 105. And we were back and forth walking around the University of West Georgia. And when I tell you at the end of the ceremony, we went outside to wait on the graduates come out. We were just standing outside and <sighs> the heat was something. I was sweating. And I was stunned and surprised that even in the pictures I took yesterday, my makeup still looked great. I came home and I was like, okay, I'm finna go ahead and film an intro for this video and go ahead and get this video up so you guys, you know, can see it real time, same day. I woke up about 5 a.m. and I was like, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get up, and I rolled right back over and went back to sleep. Hence, it's 8.30 in the morning and I'm doing an intro for the video. But if you guys are ready to see how to get this look, it's not only my graduation, my son's graduation day from high school makeup look, so it's also a monochrome monochromatic red so red eyes and red lips if you guys are ready to see how we actually got this look and just everything then let's keep watching and let's go you're my bitter one taking me home for one thing really do one okay guys so i'm already starting out with my eyebrows already done i went ahead and did it with my NYX, um, sorry, my ColourPop um, Precision Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in Jet Set Black. And I did go ahead and clean it up with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. So I went ahead and used my favorite combo. And of course, I went ahead and tried to use the Iconic London again on the brows. And hmm, I don't, no, I, I don't have time for this. This is team doing too much. I, not my cup of tea. But I did go ahead and fill it in with the brow powder from The Brow Girl by Tanya Crook. And this is the convertible brow in shade number two, medium. So I've already went ahead and done that for the brow. <clears throat> Today's eye look is going to be a pretty simple eye look, but a very huge, bold statement. And I'm going to... I'm gonna do a very unconventional way with actually completing out this eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and either use my NARS. This is their Power Look Pigment in um, Star Woman or either I'm gonna use my Too Faced Melted Matte in Lady Balls. I'm just gonna go in and see which one of these actually is the reddest because today I'm just doing a monochrome a monochromatic eye look. It is also my son's graduation from high school today. So this is also going to be a graduation look. So I'm gonna be doing the most without doing the most. So just watching the NARS up against the lady balls just to see which one is really gonna give me a true red base. And that's what both of them look like. The top one, the darker one is the NARS and the bottom one is the Lady Balls. And I'm more or less just thinking I'm gonna mix both. So for me to go in and mix both of them, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and just put them on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna work from the back of my hand. Might not be the smartest thing since this actually may be a stain at the graduation, but whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sigma. This is a Baked Precision P89 brush, and I'm gonna use it because you see it's like a little mini Kabuki. So because of that little mini Kabuki angle, it's gonna be able to get right in here with the actual eyes and blend out this pigment. So I'm just gonna take and mix both of them together on the back of my hand and put it on the brush and saturate the actual brush. And then once I have that brush saturated, I'll go saturate it. I'll go ahead and go in here and just start pressing. And this is just pretty much the base of my eye look. So the only thing I'm doing right now is just basing my eye look 
And because I didn't put on a whole lot, it's not gonna make too big of a mess and it's not gonna be too hard for me to blend out. I do wanna go ahead and get into this inner corner, but not quite all the way into the inner corner. So that's the reason why I chose this brush because you see it creates a half moon with the brush. So it allows me to get in there and blend and place the product where I want to. And I chose those two for my pigments for my actual base because they'll dry, but they also leave me a little bit of wiggle room and play room to still go back in and actually play with it. Now, because this does dry pretty quickly, um, I'm moving pretty fast, guys. I'm going into my Pumpkin Spice by Peachy Queen. I'm gonna go ahead and use the red in here that she has right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that palette. And I'm also going into, I think this is watermelon, but I'll leave the exact shade. This is my Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I'm gonna be using their red right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the exact same brush. I do have a paper towel right here. I'll just wipe it off the excess part on the paper towel. And I'll go in and I'll mix both shades together. So I'll go into this one because as I was busy trying to figure out which red makes sense on the back of my hand, I thought I might as well go ahead and mix both up. Did you guys even see that when I went in here? So now we're gonna go ahead and put it back on the eye. And we'll use this to go ahead and set down that liquid lipstick. And we'll also use it to go ahead and start to blend and feather out the edges. Literally, this is it for this look. Of course, I'm gonna blend it out. And of course I'll do it in an eye highlight. But just going in and making sure everything is set down and in place. And because this brush is a mini kabuki brush, you'll start to notice that it'll start to blend and feather out your edges for you. And because those pigments are very, 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 very pigmented, you'll start to see the blending starts to take place for you. So you'll just keep doing this. And because I'm working with a red, and because I know the fallout from red, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do this prior to actually doing my face. And all I'm doing is taking the tip of the brush and using very light pressure to go ahead and get that blended. And the thing about these reds is they go a very, very long way. And I'll go ahead and take and blend in between my brow bone that I already set in that red. I'm gonna take on a Morphe E23, I'm gonna take the yellow from the Peachy, the Peachy Queen set, the Pumpkin Spice palette, and I'm gonna dab some of that off on my hands because all I need to do is just blend this in. I just need to soften this edge and blend it in. And of course, I just flicked yellow all in my brow. Don't worry about that, we'll clean it up. But right now, what you're doing is just using this to diff diffuse out that actual red and make sure you get it as blended as possible. And I'm just going back and forth with small circular motions. And I'll go back and forth in between the two brushes, adding no more product to the yellow, adding no more product to the red, and I'll just aid that in blending. So I get a more blown out blend. And right here where I'm trying to diffuse that harsh line that you see, I'll just go back in with red and put just a little bit more red up there. And I'll use that to aid in blending going back with the other brush and just aid in blending. And that's it, blending. Of course, when I pull back and it's not so focused and concentrated in, you won't see that harsh line like that. It's actually completely blended out right here in the inner part is blended out, and out here it's blended out. I'm just blending a little bit more up into my actual eyebrow because I like my shadows to go in right here by my actual eyebrow. So that's the first eye, and we're gonna go ahead and move on and do the second, same thing to the second eye and I'll come back when it's time to do line. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and line my upper waterline in the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in black, and I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash line in the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner, and this one is in Screaming. So I'm gonna put the black on top and the Screaming on the bottom. And I love the Urban Decay because it doesn't irritate my eyes and it doesn't transfer all over the place. And this will help hide my lash band since today I really don't plan on winging out my actual eyeliner. It does make your eyes water just a little bit when you start playing in the actual waterline. So all you wanna do is just go in there and catch those tears before they get too far. And now you're just gonna go into the bottom and just put on the yellow. 
And the reason why I chose not to do an actual red is because the yellow will help balance and ground, ground the look while also giving you a little pop of, still got a little red from the actual top right there. If you see that, just clean it up, you'll be fine. But the yellow will help ground the look and give it a completely different pop. So you could do a nude eyeliner, or if you wanted to, you could always do all black if that's what you wanted to. But I wanted to make sure my eyes stayed open. And I also wanted to make sure that I had something extra with this pop. Now, once your eyes actually stop watering, then you can go ahead and move on to the other parts. So I'm gonna take you guys out. Okay, so now that that part is done, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll leave it alone for a minute since my eyes are still kind of watering. I'm gonna go ahead and see what type of foundations I wanna use. Either I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, and my winter shade is the 765 with a little bit of 775 in it. But of course, now that it's my summer shade, I'm gonna use a lot more of this than this one. Or I can go ahead and use my makeup, um, yeah, Makeup Revolution. This is their Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Foundation in F13. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake both of them up while I'm giving my eyes a chance to stop watering to really see which ones actually will work. So let's go ahead and pull my mirror back a little bit for you guys. So matching my chest shade, let's see if this one will actually work. Will this one work? It's a little too, it goes a little too neutral on my skin tone. It's pulling a little bit more golden olive right now, which is why it's coming off looking a little pink and almost gray a little bit. So I'm gonna go in and mix this and try to figure out which one would be. I forgot they had the lock and top tops on these. The one thing that I like about these is they are travel friendly. So when you take the tops off, you also have to unlock the top. So even if this comes off in your travel bag, the pump is still locked so it won't pump out. So let's go ahead and pump some of this out and try to figure out what is gonna be my perfect ratio. And of course the pump wants to act effective. And this one comes off a little bit more olive. It's more of a golden olive, and this one, of course, is going to be a little bit more neutral. So I wanna take and mix them together, and I'm not really sure the ratio quite yet. I know that's gonna be just a little too deep for me. See that? See how it goes a little bit more? Now you can really see the olive in it. But when I blend it out, it's still just a little too olive, so I can't go that route because that route is just coming off a little too pink on me. And this one is coming off super olive. So what I'll go ahead and do, I'll put just, I'll put just a little bit more on the back of my hand because this is super olive and that's what's pulling in that pink. So to cancel that out, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all three of them on the back of my hand. Not too much, just a little. And this is where it comes to making your own concoction and this is the reason why I hate mix. I, I hate mixing foundations, but sometimes you have to. So this is the mix I had did together of both of the cover girls. And this one right here is the Makeup Revolution Pro. And this of course is both of them single. So I'll just take and mix all of that together. And that's what I'm coming up with. And it is a little golden. So to take, it, it's super olive. So to take some of the olive out, I'm gonna put just a little bit. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment, and this is the blue one. And I took just a little bit right here to go ahead and test it. And since a little really does go a long way, I've clearly added too much blue to that. But if I go in and blend it out a little bit more with the extra foundation I already had on my hand, it becomes more of my color. You see how that one is super olive golden and this one goes a little bit more neutral golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix one full pump into what's on the back of my hand and get the mixing. And just a half a pump more. 
And I love these mix in medium pigments from LA Girl because they really allow you to customize a foundation shade that just may have just went a little too crazy and not the actual direction you needed to go. So now I'll go ahead and take and put this on. And I'll go ahead and work this in with my fingers first since I'm already playing with my actual fingers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see how this brush actually works. I'm sorry, this sponge actually works. This is the Eco 2's face sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it for the first time and see how it works. I'm gonna use it on the larger portion. This little smaller indentation right here is for your concealer. This larger part is for your face. And of course, this is to bounce and blend and help you blend all your makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the stuff on the back of my hand and arm. And I'll go ahead and go in and start blending. And we'll see exactly where I end up at this point. I, I totally forgot to prime my face. I primed my forehead, but I totally forgot to prime my face. Yeah, we're gonna see exactly where this goes at this point. And it goes in with one of the perfect shade matches. So, so far, this is what it's looking like, and I can't complain about that. I am actually liking that color match of mixing all of them together. Do you have to mix three different foundations and a mix of medium together? No. But sometimes when things go left, you definitely wanna know how to fix it. Yet yeah, once again, that is another way you guys can actually fix it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and give this another shot, even though I read this to ultimate filth because I it just did not work for me. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. This is the L'Oreal Palace Infallible Wear Full Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade Cedar. Um, I'm thinking that the gripping primer that I was using may have caused this to actually peel up. We're about to see. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. And then I'm gonna go in with the actual concealer. And I just wanna see, will this actually work? Will this actually help? You would think I would go ahead and do it underneath one eye instead of doing it under both eyes, knowing the problems that I've already had with this particular concealer. But you know, I have a tendency to have to be super special about stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right in and start blending it out. Hopefully it doesn't give me those problems that I had last time as I went in here and tried to use this product. And I just flipped it over to the other side to help blend out my forehead with the concealer on this side and the foundation that I had on this side. And now I'll go ahead and go in under my actual eyes and see what we can do there with the concealer side. I like it so far. We're not having those problems so far. I honestly God, I think it has a lot to do with those gripping primers. And I'm also noticing something else about those gripping primers that uh, it can pull foundation up once you start to like, layer other wet products on top. But I'm still testing it out before I actually do a video in reference to that because it didn't just happen with this concealer. It happened with another concealer that I never have that problem with as well. So I'm testing it with different foundations and also with different primers just to see if that actual gripping primer is causing me to have those problems. And I also saw some other people on YouTube having those problems where they went to go blow out, when they went to go build out, when they went to go blend out their concealer and they pounced on the skin and you can see where it literally lifted not only the concealer but the foundation and left a patch. So I'm not having any patchiness with this particular tryout of it. And I'm blending pretty well with it and I don't see or have any problems. Put just a little bit right here on my actual chin. And I do know with this, a little goes a long way. And I just wanna make sure that the light is still there with my actual face. So, so far, right now, I'm liking it. Right now, I'm not having any problems with it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and I'm gonna contour and brown bronze up just a little bit with the Makeup Revolution. And this is their Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the shade C16. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this just to go ahead and bronze up the perimeters of my actual face. And I'll go ahead and use a blush brush. This is from Real Techniques and this is their Instapop Cheek Brush. And I'll go ahead and wet this brush 
with a little bit of the Smashbox Primer Water. And I'll go ahead and start to blend this out. And the thing I really, 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 really love about this concealer for this particular step and technique is that it blends so flawlessly. And of course, when I get down to my cheeks, I'm gonna go ahead and blend up. And down here, I'll go ahead and blend with a swiping motion to make sure I'm creating that shadow right here down that you would normally have if you didn't eat too much chicken. And of course, creating the shadow underneath my actual chin making sure that I follow where my jawline should be. And I'm allowing the outside of the brushes right here to help blend along the upper part of the jawline. Same thing on this side, blending up to make sure I raise that cheek. Make sure I blend out that little bit up underneath my lip. And just doing that so it gives it more of a pouty look. And then I'll go ahead and go in and use just a little bit down my actual nose only because today is one of those days where I really wanna be fierce and snatched all day for this graduation. So I'll go ahead and take a brush and just go into it and just really hit right here down these parts. Making sure I take and blend that up into the eyebrow and going back right over it with my actual sponge with the concealer top to get that blended. So now I'm creating a nose well, a bridge for my nose, since you guys know I don't have a bridge, so I'm creating that shadow right there coming down my actual bridge. And now I'll go ahead and set everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out these creases. They really didn't crease too much underneath my eyes. Like, as you can see, I really don't have any creasing. You can see a crease right there and another right here. So I'll just go in and blend that out so this way I make sure I'm not setting any creases. Even though it didn't crease too much, I still wanna go in and just blend that out a little bit. And then I'm immediately gonna go in with my Ben Nye powder mix that I keep in my container. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set this on down. And I'm using the sponge to not necessarily bake, but I'm using the sponge to go ahead and just melt it into my skin. I'll take and lay down the bulk of the product there, but then I'll take and start to smooth over my actual small lines to make sure they're not creasing throughout the day, especially since today is such one, such a big day for me. And I use the access to go ahead and powder down this area. And then I'll just use the sponge. And pretty much when you're using the sponge to melt the powder back into your skin, all you're doing is just pressing and going back and forth, back and forth. So it's not necessarily baking, it's just melting the powder into your skin. Then I'll go ahead and take my Flower Beauty along with my Pacifica. This is the Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one first. And the thing that I love about it is it actually comes with this little lip and it has a little net on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe E42 and just go into this powder. And let's hope that it doesn't give me a white cast and that it doesn't actually create flashback. Oh, it's gonna create flashback. Okay, so we will not be using that today. Oh, we will not be using that today. The thing about um, on camera, when you do your makeup on camera, you can almost automatically see. Um, real life, looking in the mirror, it doesn't look like that, but on camera, it's gonna pick up the different particles in the powder. So you know if you took a picture, that's what you would see in a picture. So I'm finna correct that. We are definitely not finna do that. So I'm just taking my flower powder where I know I don't have those problems and issues and I'll just go ahead and buff and go back over it. And I'm just setting the rest of my face right now. But don't worry, that little white that you see right there, I'll fix it. I can't have that today with the actual picture. So I'll fix it up. And I'll just use and make away any additional powder that wasn't melted into the skin. I use this to go ahead and bake it away. A lot of times you'll forget powder that has been sitting here. And when you go to take pictures, you can see that powder that's still there. And the one thing you don't want to do is go in with the setting spray and shut powder that's just sitting there. Oh God, been there, done that. Now that I've set my face down, how I'm actually going to go ahead and fix that, I'm going to go in with a colored face powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lancome. This is my dual finish 
And this is their multitasking powder and foundation. It's pretty much a powder foundation and I'm in the shade 460 Suede W. So I'll go ahead and take that same brush that I was using and just brush over it. And now what I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna try for the first time my Cover FX palette. And this is their Perfector Face Palette and I got the shade Medium Deep. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and use their contour and blush in here. I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place Tapered Contour Brush and I'm gonna go into the contour shade, which is very powdery, very pigmented. And I'm just gonna use that here where I had already went in and added that product. And this is gonna go in as a kind of a gray just a little bit but that's okay for me, it's kind of what I want. So when I get ready to go in and put a bronzer on top, it'll just melt with the bronzer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze this face. While we're still looking a little closely, don't worry about it guys, it's about to come together. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer, and I'm also gonna use my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula in the shade Endless Summer. I'm gonna go ahead and take both of those to actually bronze with, since this is coming off a little bit more red, but it is that time of the year where my skin can handle a little bit more red. And all I do is just go in and just blend all of that together. And now that I'm through with that, what I'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna go into these two blushes. I can't remember if they're from I can't remember which brand they're from, but I'll leave the information in the box below. This is a lighter tangerine orange, and this is more of a blood red grapefruit orange. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take both of these and mix them together. More of the tangerine and just a dab of the grapefruit to get something like that. And I'm gonna use this to go ahead and go in and blush my cheeks from the back because orange is really a pretty summertime um, blush during the actual summertime. And it's very, very pretty on women of color during this time of year. Plus it also offsets the red really well for the actual eyes. And now I'll go back in with this and just clean up right here. And I'll go back with my big brush with nothing on it. And I'll go ahead and blend all of that together. And also brush away any additional powder I just laid down right there. I definitely want to go in and try out this highlighter in the Cover FX palette. It looks so pretty. And I'm going to go for this first one with the brightener. So I'll go ahead and put that down on the brush with the actual brightener. And just see how it works and how it goes on. Oh, that's pretty. And just the brightener on the nose. And I'll take the brightener and use that to further highlight up here underneath my brows. And then I'll use just a regular brush with no product on it. This is a Morphe E15. Just to go ahead and blend, blend that highlighter into the actual red so it doesn't look so harsh. And now I'll go ahead and spray with my Smashbox Primer Water. And now I'm going to use the butt of the product with nothing on it just to go in and melt that into the skin. And right before that dries completely all the way, I'm gonna take a little bit more highlighter and just go across the top parts. And since blush is always the very first thing to fade and go away from your face, I'll go in with just a little bit more blush and just sweep back. And what you'll see is the Smashbox Primer Water, when you put it on top of your foundation in your face, it makes your highlighter stick more to your actual face and show up better on your face. And it'll also allow the blush to really go in and stick and show up on your face as well. So you guys can see. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm gonna use my Sephora Lash, and this is by Lena Lashes, and these lashes are absolutely stunning. They are absolutely stunning. So we're gonna go ahead and use those lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line. And to stick with the actual theme, I'm just gonna go back into this red right here and actually just press that into my lower lash line. Not too much, just a little bit. And I had a little fallout. 
So I'll go in there and wipe that fall out away. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX matte eyeliner in black. And I'm not actually going to go ahead and wing this out. At least I don't think I am. And just when I say I'm not going to wing it out, I'm going to do the smallest of, of baby wings. Same thing, I'm doing the tiniest of the tiniest little baby wing. Okay, that one went a little bit bigger. So we'll go back in and make this one just a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna stop right there with the actual wings before I lose my mind and I come back and the wings are like this big. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my House of Lashes Lash Glue. This is one of my favorite lash glues. I don't have to ever worry about my eyelashes lifting, coming up in the corners. Even if I cry, I don't have to worry about anything happening with this actual mascara, this, this lash glue. So I love this lash glue. And if you have an event you have to go to, or if it's anything that you have to do and you know it's going to be a situation where you're going to be crying, I definitely recommend this House of Lashes Lash Glue or the Tarte Black Lash Glue. Wedding, anything, graduations, not to be morbid or anything, but anything where you're crying. This is the type of lash glue you definitely want to go ahead and use. And I always scrape mine to the very last bit. I take the stopper out and everything before I actually pull out a new one. That's exactly how much I love this lash glue. And it's never let me down. I've never had any problems of everything I'm going to have to worry about during an event, especially an event where it is highly likable. You will cry if you're receiving an award or just whatever it may be. Of everything you're going to have to worry about, your lashes will not be one of them. So now that I'm done pinning the lash glue on, I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara. And for the mascara, I'm going in with the two for two, the benefit. I'm so off. I'm going in with the Benefit Cosmetics, and this is their bad girl, their bad gal bang. Now for an event like today, I did go ahead and curl my upper lashes, just simply because I really want them to last. But on the top lashes, I'm only gonna use this Benefit Cosmetics mascara. I just needed to make sure that these will blend into the falsies, but I also needed to make sure that I got the red out of them. So while we're trying to let that finish, I'm gonna go ahead and do one other thing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the actual eyebrows. You guys know I love to go in and darken up my tail, and I always use my eyeliner to do this. And I get most of the product off, and then I'll go into a little napkin and do that. And I'll just go in and do the strokes on the end just to make sure my tail is pretty dark. And then I'll go in with my fingers just to match it down. Same thing on the other side. I know the heat today is supposed to be 100, 101 today in George in Atlanta. And we're having to go way, 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 like an hour away from the house for the graduation at one of the coliseums here. So I already know being out here with the heat, the heat index is supposed to be like 107 a day. Hopefully this thing is on the inside. If this thing is on the outside, I'm gonna look like melted strawberry milkshake. It looks, you know, I hope, I hope to God not. But I'll just go in and set these down. And I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel to do this. And now I'll go in and start putting on these lashes. I'm not gonna do my bottom mascara just yet. And that's what one eye looks like. And while the lashes are still doing their thing, I'll go ahead and go in with the individual curler and just give them an extra lift. Not too much but just an extra lift. Now that I have the lashes on and in place, now I'm just gonna go back in with my Black Radiance, and this is their liquid highlighter, and this is in the shade Late Light Radiance. And I'll take just a little bit of this on the back of my hand, looks like that. When you actually sheer this out, it's such a beautiful highlighter that I would recommend that you guys, especially if you're a little um, deeper skin tone, mix that in with your lotion. 
it's going to be stunningly beautiful. But I'm going to go ahead and take this and use this to base right here. And now I'll just go in with a super gold highlighter on top of that. I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place. And this is the Hair and Glow 1 by Juvia's Place. And I'm just going to use that just to go ahead and set that down. And as you see, it, it turns it on fire. See what I'm talking about? It has something to stick to. And it just allows that highlighter to really, really shine. And the same brush that I was working with, the exact same brush that I was working with, I'm going to go back into my Give Me Glow Cosmetics Red. And I'm going to blend that top part a little bit better than that. Go back into my brush that doesn't have any product to go ahead and blend and how to help clean that up. The final thing that we'll go ahead and go back into now that we have that done, we'll go ahead and address these lips. I'm going to go ahead and take off uh, my lip gloss and now I'll go back in and see do I want to do... I'm going to do the darker red which is going to be the NARS. And this NARS really makes your teeth look so, so white. I love this one. Okay, so I wanted to come in and do a close-up of the actual makeup so you guys could actually see the makeup. Now, pay no attention to the little smudge. Where is it? Over here? Or whatever's going on. Like I said, I fell asleep in the makeup. Uh, again, I definitely encourage you not to fall asleep in your makeup. I've had this makeup on for, um, yeah, almost 24 hours. I definitely would never encourage you to do this under any circumstances unless you know you know whatever sometimes things happen but anyway enough of that let's go ahead and show you a close-up of the makeup and pay no attention to frick where is it right here frick and uh frat they decided that they was gonna go to the graduation with me and they was not gonna be silent so yeah pay no attention to that but yeah i just wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to actually see the close-up in real time in real color of what the actual makeup looks like okay okay so now that you guys had a chance to see the makeup and the deets and everything with the get ready with me for the red monochromatic look get it together Leah. <laughs> and also you know just what i decided to do to do and put together for my son's graduation. Hopefully you guys have really liked it. Of course, leave me some comments about some things that you want to guys want to see next. I have um, some more Let's Talk videos coming up for you guys since you guys really seem to like that as well. And I also have some clothing hauls. Like I'm ready one time for the big girls. What? I got some swimsuit hauls coming up for you guys. So yeah, I got some stuff coming for you. But again, YouTube, you already know. Thank you so much for coming and spending your time with me today. I don't care when you're actually watching my video. I'm just happy that you chose to spend some time with your girl, Beauty by Lenoria. And of course, as you already know, thank you. And until next time.